Metopia was once a land where everybody was happy. Any problem anybody had was probably just because they didn't like something about life. Like being locked inside your house. That seems like something somebody wouldn't like about their life. Not to mention the minor crippling depression everybody had. You know, minor inconveniences of life. For the most part, everything stayed good. But one day, something bad happened. And for once in their life, it wasn't just a minor inconvenience. A Dark Lord had appeared out of seemingly nowhere and started taking people's faces for completely unclear reasons. UNCLEAR REASONS?! Can't you see the picture of White Dale? He was putting it up on his minions, you dumb little idiot! Can you read?! Why indeed I can, fellow nitwit. I was just trying to make the story more juicier. Really? Cause it kinda just sounds like you're just making up excuses, dude. What if I'm making up excuses? You would've done the same if you were in my position. No, I very much wouldn't. Okay, okay, we get it. Nobody's here to see three people argue with each other. They're here for the actual story. So, we on. Okay, fine then, you little idiots. Somewhere in the boiling aisles, a girl named Amity had just kissed another girl named Luce. Since she was very clearly embarrassed by her actions, she bolted to the door, not looking back, not realizing that the door was ominously glowing for apparently no reason. When she went through the door, she realized she wasn't quite at her house. She looked around and saw some butterflies that were approaching her. But these weren't regular butterflies. They had faces on them. And not just butterfly faces, people faces. She soon realized that they were actually just trying to attack her. She tried using magic, but she couldn't. She looked down at her arm and realized that for some reason she had been randomly placed into the nobody's coven. Which obviously meant that she couldn't do any magic. So she evaluated the situation, looked around, and saw the best possible option. Running away. After a while of running aimlessly into the wild, she ran into none other than Mr. Bean. He had a badge on his shirt that said that he was a tour guide, but he really didn't live up to his name. All he did was point her towards the town of Greenhorn and then leave her alone. <coughs> oh my gosh, you weird little... Child, what are you trying to do? You know, if you keep doing these types of stuff, you will eventually kill yourself, man. And I really can't afford for you to kill yourself, man. You know how much I will owe my wife if you kill yourself, man. Are you the one that Luce described as an Obama? Yes, it is I, I is he, and he, he is we. we. You may be asking why I sound like this today. And my answer is I have a common case of the cold. Now, run along then, we don't deal with outsiders that much. Amity kept going into this mysterious town of Greenhorn and ran into a familiar face. Basha, what are you doing here? I don't know, and um, same question goes to you. Well, I don't really know either. Okay, now that we've established things are weird, you can get out of my face. Amity walked around Basha and then ran into the mayor. mayor Dewey. What? Why do you sound like some random vehicle trying to start? Mayor Dewey. Excuse me? Dewey. After a minute of being confused, she realized that she probably should have read the subtitles when they were there. Suddenly, something felt off. They all felt a strange, powerful, evil presence. They all looked up and saw none other than the Dark Lord himself. I! It's I! Lord Voldemort! Okay. I'm here to snap your faces in half. You know what I mean? Just take them from you. Wait, what? So, yeah. Join them in your faces, you freaks! Ha ha! Ha ha! Anyway, I love you! Goodbye! Amity was now confused. Why has some random thing took in people's faces? What was she doing here? And what the heck is an appendix supposed to do? All these mysteries of the world still creeping about in her brain. She looked around and saw all the people of the town devastated. Mr. Bean and a granny she didn't even bother talking to had no faces. A guy named PewDiePie was crying because Voldemort had taken his wife's face. The person who seemed to have it the worst was Obama, who was bawling his eyes out at the sight of 
his son's faceless corpse. Amity was about to just leave the town, but Obama interrupted her and begged her to look for his son, Caillou. Why can't you just look for your own son's face? Because I'm apparently sad, and because the plot demands you to do it! After a while of arguing with the 44th president of America, she reluctantly agreed to Obama's quest. She was about to set off to look for Caillou's face, but before she left, Obama gave her a weird look and antique charm. So now, Amity took off on a quest to find Caillou's face. Even though she didn't know why she was here or how she was going to get home, she thought that going on a quest might lead her to some answers if it meant she got to meet the right people. <laughs> so you're trying to play a hero by saving Caillou's face, huh? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Okay then, you see that slime ball over there? Um, yeah. How about I slap Caillou's face on it and force you to fight it? Wait, what? Mm-hmm, okay, okay, so we're all agreeing to this? Yes? Okay, go, fake Caillou! Kill that teenager! <laughs> okay, I already said it, but I love you, Bob! Amity was now in trouble. She couldn't use her magic because of the nobody's coming thing, and she didn't have any weapons at her disposal. It was all over, and she never really got to do anything worthwhile. But suddenly, the charm on her neck snapped off her neck and went into the air. A blinding light appeared, and she appeared in somewhere different again. Hi, how are you? I'm your magical guardian spirit that resides in within your necklace. I see that you've gotten yourself in a pickle, so I am here to help. What the heck? Did I just die? Nope, you're in the Mindscape, kid. A place where the outside world can't do anything. Anyway, let me just get to the point. I know about your quest. So I'm just here to give you some powers or abilities to be able to fight off monsters. Yeah, this sounds cool, but like, why should I trust you? Well, it's not like you have any other options. Either you accept my help or die against the slime monster. So, what will it be? Die a horrible, gruesome death or accept my help? Fine, I'll accept your help. Excellent decision. So... I'm guessing you want a power that makes you feel like you have a magic back, right? Actually, having magic would be nice. How do you know? Oh, I just have my ways. You don't have to worry about that, though. Okay, then. The only problem is that I probably won't be able to do magic, since I was forcefully put into the nobody's coven. Well, you don't have to worry about that if you accept the job. All right, then. What type of stuff do you got? Well, stuff with magic, we got stuff like, you know, mage, cleric. Stuff like that, you can choose between the both if you want. Um, I think I'll take the mage. Great choice! Now BOOM! Uh, what the heck is happening? Isn't it obvious? You're turning into a cute and quirky magical girl, anime girl, magical girl! I literally have no idea what you just said. <laughs> just TRANSFORM! That was anticlimactic. Rude. Anyway, just fight the slime monster now. How? If I'm stuck here because of you. Well, not for long. Clap noise! Amity saw that she was now back in the real world. She saw the slime monster smile. She got ready to use her wand and... What the heck? Why isn't this thing working? Am I supposed to set up a spell or something? Uh, 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 uh. Expecto fire thingy? Stop, 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 just stop, just stop. Y you're not supposed to use it like that. Then what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Just bonk the monster with it. I thought this was supposed to give me magic. Might as well just pick up a stick and use it. Oh, but my impatient little brat idiot child, you're just supposed to wait for the magic to unlock. What the heck is that supposed to even mean? I don't know, it just said in the manual. Just bonk the monster, please. Okay, fun then. Well, that was anticlimactic. Anyway, time to go back to Greenhorn. Wait, what? Why? We were here to rescue his face, isn't that what we just did? Yeah, but we need to make the wrong time of this game longer for some reason, so we're just gonna use the excuse that we have to, you know, make sure his face gets to the right place and stuff. Okay, then. 
Hermione went back to the town of Greenhorn and witnessed the miracle that was a child getting slapped by its own face coming back on. Thanks for returning my son's face. Even if my life would have been more stress-free without him, it wouldn't have been worth it because I'd have to face my wife's wrath, so thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Nah, it was nothing. No, it was something. So here we go. 200 coins. Hermione looked down at the coins. She wasn't sure what she'd do with it, but it was nice to know that she'd have some money in this world if she actually needed to use it. She was about to leave the town of Greenhorn when she randomly appeared back in the Mindscape. Wow, I didn't think that would have happened. What? Eh, nothing doesn't matter to you. Anyway, I want you to do something. I want you to take down Lord Voldemort. So, what do you say? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Why not? He's terrorizing the land. We need someone to step up and become a hero. Yeah, but I'm not your hero. Just choose some random other person. But I already gave you powers to do the things you need to do. So? I'm forced you to give them to me. Okay then, you leave me no choice. Since you don't seem to want to take down Voldemort, I'm gonna make a deal with you. What are you gonna make a deal for? You got nothing I want. That's where you're wrong. If you take down Lord Voldemort, I'll take you home. Well, that's hard not to accept. TikTok kid, if you don't accept, I'll just make you defeat Lord Voldemort through different methods. Find them. I'll defeat Lord Voldemort, but you have to hold up your end of the deal. You have my word. So, what do we do now? Simple. We just go out and rescue everybody's face. Hello and welcome to another edition of End Town Thing. Yeah. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video. And I watched over the animation and it has a couple of errors in it. But it's come to the point where I'm just not gonna fix them. Because it'll take too long to try re-editing everything so I have become lazy and I, I I don't care anyway yeah like comment subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, I swear I won't go dead for another month okay goodbye